Okay, uh, if you have the sheet as well, you can please uh, uh, do your donation through uh, the sheet. Just go through it. I think uh, I, I'm seeing one of that right there. Just, uh, can you raise it up? Okay, so you just use your phone, okay, scan the code, all right? And uh, really, if you believe in what we are doing and you need the freedom, just uh, from yesterday till today, I see the excitement and the happiness seeing our PM and uh, even those in Biafra land, all over the world, those that support the cause of what we are doing. Please kindly support the movement. If you don't do that, you are deceiving yourself. Please, whatever you have, any amount, we really appreciate it. And we also have the New Dimension uh, Mandate, www.newdimensionmandate.com. Uh, so just follow the instruction. And if you look on my left side there, we also have the IPOB in USA.org.donate, okay, slash donate. Okay, please visit one of these websites, ipobinusa.org slash donate, and biafrarepublicgov.org slash donate. We have the gold for me and the new dimension.com. Please kindly support if you really believe in what we are doing so we don't have to deceive ourselves or try to run away from our shadow, please. We come a long way. Our PM have uh, worked so hard to make sure that we get to this position. Our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, we know where he is right now. He's still incarcerated by, I guess, his, his wish, of which the court of the same country have ordered his release. And the terrorist country always going to remain a terrorist country. A fraud-like country that's not made to stand always going to remain. They refuse to release him. So we have to fight. And how do we do that? We need to fight a government that is so corrupt and complicated like the Nigeria calls you. We need money. Please kindly support with whatever you can support with. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, Minister of Finance. Uh, like our charter said yesterday that the government is the government of the people and the people's decision persists. So this means that uh, by financing this movement is the will of the people. So everything is in your hands. The, to me, it's not really an option, but it's a responsibility. And uh, we believe that all of you, uh, for coming here today, you all are going to participate. And uh, I assure you, we're already in Biafra. Thank you, everybody. Right. The room is quiet. We are not hearing the clicking. What are we waiting for? If you have the sheet, start scanning. Scan, donate, give to your neighbor. You don't have to go with it. And we are monitoring because as soon as you donate, it will show. So we have about maybe 300 people here. We are not hearing the clicking. Start clicking, please. All hell Biafra. All right. So while you are clicking, let, let us call our Finnish sister, Anita Katan, to say hi to us. Ndevo <laughs> umuchineke. Kedu, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all for coming this long, long journey to this cold, cold Finland. I appreciate everything you are doing for this human rights matter of Biafra. Me, I joined this uh, movement 2019. I start hearing I start hearing about Biafra and uh, somebody was telling me about Igbo people and me I am a half Israeli my mother is Israeli so I am a Jew and my father is Finnish 
and I come from a military background. So my mother's side in Israel, my father's side in Finland, fight for the independence of both countries, Finland and Israel. So I understand very well what Biafrans are doing. I understand very well what is happening for Igbo people and Biafra people in Nigeria, inside Nigeria. And I start to understand everything better. I was listening to Simon, our honorable, our beloved, our beloved <laughs> Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. I listen every night. He was uh, broadcasting very actively. I was sharing program every time, and uh, I was making write-ups also. And after Mazin and the Kanu um, was released, Simon uh, introduced him to everybody. There was many, many new people who just joined Biafra movement because they were listening to Simon, also me. And uh, after that, I start to listen to Mazin and Kanu also, and making write-ups. I was always having pen and paper with me, <laughs> every time. And the way he was talking about the freedom of Biafra is just the basic rights of people. Uh, Igbos and all Biafrans are so large population Everybody uh, needs this freedom, what uh, you are looking for. And there was no troops that time when I start to understand about this. There was no ESN. There was just people protesting with flags. There was nothing. And me, I come from military background, as I say. I was talking that uh, people need troops. Everybody needs to defend themselves. If your people get killed, for no reason, you need to defend yourself. Everybody has the right to defend themselves. So as soon as uh, ESN was based, formed, uh, started, I start to donate. Every time I donate, every month I was donating. And uh, I was joining the fundraise, uh, a long, long time. After I, after I meet my uh, husband, I start to save money to travel to Africa, so I couldn't join so many fundraisers anymore. But uh, now I have married, so I, I can start joining the fundraiser again. <laughs> but yes, I support, I support Biafra with full heart. With full heart and full understanding and I'm very happy to see the star of David behind me in two form. I'm very happy to hear the national anthem of Biafra and Finland which are the same. Yes. So this is a great honor and this is a history in making. So thank you all. I want to thank you for coming. It's not easy to come to Finland. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you, our sister Anita. Now, please, how many of us have gotten our charter? So, if your hand is not up, go to the New Dimension website and start clicking. Do not leave without a copy. And you don't want the copy is to run out. You know what it means? If you don't pick yours today, you're going to have to pay for shipping. Right? So it is $100. If you're paying cash, if you have $100, you pay. 
euros or pounds, whatever you have, except Naira. It's hundred dollars. <laughs> so please, start getting your own charter. We also have a lot of souvenirs. You cannot go home empty-handed. Get for your children, get for your friends, get for your families. All right? Even get the charter for your families. If they are in Biafra land, ship one to them. They need to understand the law. It's called charter, but it's really the law. So send to them. All right? Thank you. While you are making your donations anyway, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our expected guest is not here, so we have to uh, take on something else quickly. So while we wait for that, we would like to take you Uh, DJ, can you please give us some music while we wait? Can you please, uh, yes, uh, while we wait for our guest, we would like to take you back uh, to a journey of uh, the Biafra war because most of you or most of us was not aware that during that time, Europe was actually boiling for Biafra. They felt for Biafra and uh, they were actually marching in the streets of Europe, protesting and this information and videos and and pictures were concealed from the public. So while the DJ is playing the music, please uh, pay attention and follow the screen. Thank you very much. DJ, please hit, uh, give us that music again. Give us a freedom. 
Biafra. All hail Biafra. I'm sure that you all know this Ide Juno. Yeah, we call her Ide Juno. And she wants to speak to us. So if you phone Get to this side, go fund me. The minimum you will keep table, five dollars. Five dollars are not on your bona wet a phone here. Open to that website. Obuni donate when you are Kayenu Kaifu. Mayenu phone unu keketa at a chorami at Adame gay force. Mayenu phone unu. Let's start doing it. Anne Pukwane meme. Now what a killer call be eba. Oh, if he fell a cop. On your can follow Professor Chum. Can work on me. Opolum Pogoteba. So if I'm eligible, may you know that website? Get on that website, may you know email donation. We need traffic in that area. I want traffic, then others will help us. And a sinon or malum wapu banama. Unu got a fenu. Oh, money, oh, money can a melefa. Biko, may you know for noon. On your made donation, ya will near Kenu. Kai for Maloya gave Kenu's lamenia donation. He made a donation. Very good. And did you cash? One of one of the professor come. Oh, I look paper. A denya phone ya. A denya a denya di amount. I'm a lifan a Maryland. The Maryland. Oh, guys, the Maryland. The Maryland. We did this and we raised many people donating. We want all them. Could you? Could you? Kwalo niaka. Kwalo niaka. Yes, Kwalon Yaka, what Nali Benaru, Abun Yim Ijiro, Ijiro Pan, Gwanya Nade Be in Ye Cash, Nyan Melogi Iwenyaka Yen. So Omura Bisi Banaria, Mwa, Onya Megu, Ngiwa. Yes, Nyanya Zona de Beika, Weta that cash. Professor Chema, where are you? Where are you? Ane kwa kwane meme. Gemu mego mwa kwalon yaka, kwalon puloto. Yes, 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 yes. Can we make up? Very good. Kwaneka, a professor, chairman, then in a condition in Fana Gaga. Yes, yes. Kedonia Zamego Kwano, Mayano, it starts only from five dollars. Yes, Kulato, Kulato Kai Kwaliaka, Kulato, Kwaloniaka, Kwaloniaka. Yes, so Kedokwanya Zam. But I got about 30 minutes time if I we can work only 50 people. It's something. Yes. Hello. Biko kedonya so menu. Kedonya so. Ngwa kulato. Kedonya megonu. Acho nkan for aka. I want hands up. I want hands up. I don't know where you are from. So I'm asking you, little little giraffe, and there is one who can serve labor. So, tinye tinye ngwa meya no that page, meya no that page. Yes. Abu ni ngwa lo nyonya no de begi, nyonya no de begi yego o use o kunya lenya, o kunya lenya. Ngwa no ngwa no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys, let's go, let's go. If you let you me, you can want to kill him, what would you maybe ever? Where call on you, you can pen and paper. Ne de to if you, where no idea, ne donate. 
Nigeria, Africa, I am a deba, or Manuga Zotalan, your bang, or a new game. Each one may fall, Fuma. You do it yourself. You do it yourself, then you won't complain. You won't complain on Gigame. Get on your sir. You will never move. Quaniaka, Quaniaka. Good. You will follow Pulata. So, if so five dollar in a book just bubble uh obeli femku. But you can give more. You can give more. Eh? You can give more. If you have a water card, you have five dollar care one, never know where card. Eh? You wait time one. Because when you're not kunu, can only make a donation. Kalodiosa. Mwa or four fun wa kunye kai kwaliaka. Onya no niru. Kwalo no tu mwa kwanyaka dalo. Ada yungwa kuloka kwalo niaka. Yeso kwana oh dalo. Dalo no dalo no. Hey, I'll get it. I'll get it. Dalo no. 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 to the stage to give his speech. Yeah, okay, you can, you can. 
And now I call His Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile to join Dr. Cho. But it's on the screen now, it's not here, it's like... It's not, have, it's not no, you have to go. You have to go. So now you, you push play, right? Oh, please, can you sit down, please? Thank you. Please, let's rise for the national anthem of the Ambazonians. Be the watchman 
Hail Biafra. You can have a seat. Thank you very much for the rapturous welcome. I, I am very grateful on behalf of the Ambazonian people to stand in front of the great people of Biafra the foundation of Africa's indigenous people, the largest indigenous people in the continent. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister of the Biafran government in exile, members of your executive team, fellow soldiers of the Biafran Liberation Army and the Biafran Resistance Forces, 70 million Biafrans, the leader of the Biafran people, Mazi Namdi Kanu, in the dungeons of the DSS, fellow Ambazonians, 
it is with great honor for us to be here today to lend a hand of fellowship to the Biafrans, like Ambazonians who are going through a lot of pain. The people deprived of their homeland, denigrated, dehumanized, forced into exiles scattered across the globe in nomadic lifestyle, never having the time to com combine their bodies with their soul in the one only place they call home. Because some invaders who claim ownership of their land, martial forces invaded, took over the land, the heritage, your sacred places, ravaged your coast, murdered your people, put those who resisted in jail, made your permanent home a graveyard, exploited your resources and pay you with environmental degradation, abused you while exploiting your resources, make you to question your own humanity, make you to deny your own identity in order to fit in for the purpose of opportunity. We are here to put an end to that illegality. And I can, I can assure you, if you believe in it like we do, you might not see it. But you must have done something our forebears never did to us. Give to the next generation something better than we got. Ambazonia has a border with Biafra and not with Nigeria. Amen. I don't say this to make you like me. I don't, I don't say this to please you. I say it because it's the fact. My fellow Biafrans, one of the most ingenious people in the continent of Africa, the Biafrans. They are the people who can turn water into wine. The only place you have is your homeland. Yes. Wherever you may reside, wherever you may wander to, the only place of respite is your homeland. And the last thing any man, any woman, or any people will do is to surrender that homeland to people who use it to destroy them. <laughs> Biafrans, you have gone through a lot of pain. A genocide has been caused to happen to you. They murdered millions of Biafrans. They have neither apologized nor pay reparation for the pain that you've gone through. They have continued with their policies of dehumanization. They have continued with their policies of occupation because they taught the wonder war, not knowing that was just a battle. I want to assure each and every one of you sitting here today 
and those who are listening to us from Helsinki to know that true freedom, which involves political freedom to determine the kinds of institutions that you would erect and institutionalize over the nation of Biafra, economic freedom, the kind of economic system that you are going to implement that respond to your geopolitical realities will come to Biafra, will come to Ambazonia, and every other people within the continent whose land has been hijacked, whose political system has been taken over, within which an economic system that benefits multinationals and cartels, calling themselves governors and mayors, will be put in place. Those who speak for Biafra now, are you those who defend it with their blood, the government that has been put in place to represent the true aspirations of Biafra? Those who parade the corridors of your country in the name of governors, represent the state of Nigeria. They work for Nigeria. They are answerable to Nigeria. They exploit for Nigeria. They kill for Nigeria. They sing the Nigerian anthem. They fly the Nigerian flag. They don't speak for Biafra. They don't speak for Biafra. The time has come for Biafrans to institutionalize a political system that represents the interests of the Biafrans. A government for the Biafrans that speaks for the Biafrans, represents your interests, exploit your resources, and ensure that you can live in a country where you can drive from Inigo to another state, like to another place like Calabar, where you can parade your street without being harassed by illegal policemen. It is time for the great people of Biafra, the pride of the continent of Africa, the creators in the continent of Africa, the people who can turn water into wine in the continent of Africa, the businessmen of Africa, the engineers, the doctors, the creators, to rise up against the pit that Nigeria has buried you into and claim your rightful place on this earth. This is the time. You shall not defer it to the next generation. You shall not postpone this destiny. You shall rise up like one people, fight like one people, go to jail like one people, because one day like one people you will be free. When the day of freedom shall come, we shall remember all those who have died in the hands of Nigeria. We shall honor them for their sacrifices. We shall let their parents know their children didn't die in vain. The history books will have in the forefront of the pages of every chapter their sacrifices, their heroism, and their families will know their children sacrificed for a great cause. We shall rebuild our countries. We shall make sure we tap the energy of the sunshine to light every home in Biafra. We shall make sure that 
every Biafran will go to school free of charge. And they shall not learn about fishing in Finland. They shall learn about fishing in Biafra. They shall learn their true history and not the history cooked by those who have occupied our homeland. All the oil wells, what billions of dollars will be exploited to make sure every Biafran has a roof over their head. That you drive on streets that are not places where you die because the streets are not well built. We build streets where police people are there to protect the safety of those who drive, not to extort, to exploit, and to kill. We make sure that a woman does not die in the corridors of hospitals because of poor sanitation. We make sure every child born grows up to be a grandparent because of a health infrastructure that is free because we have both the human resources and the natural resources to make it happen. We will rebuild Biafra, we will rebuild Ambazonia. We will build the biggest highway from Inugu to Boya that you can live in Inugu and work in Boya. That is our common dream for our both peoples. And let the butchers know, we aren't backing down. We aren't blinking. It is bullet for bullet and ideal for ideal. We will build the strongest army to fight. We will build an army that responds to the brutality of an enemy who has transformed political discourse into a killing field. Yeah. We will make sure everyone is armed yeah. with the right to, to defend themselves for self-preservation and to make sure we live to see the day of freedom. Yeah. We will make peace when they are ready for peace. We will talk when they want to talk. Yeah. We will fight when they want to fight. Yeah. They don't have the mandate to kill and the right to pull triggers on us. The time has come for us to redefine the destiny of our continent, yes. to take away the humiliation that has been plastered on the foreheads of black people, to have a new direction. Our struggle is not against anyone. It is for us. Our struggle is to build a better society for us. Our struggle is to erect political systems that respond to our realities. Our struggle is to make sure that the oil companies that exploit our resources should come from our land, create opportunities for our people, invest their profits in our hospitals, create playgrounds for our kids, make sure our parents are able to be taken care of when they get old. That is all we ask. And I am definitely very sure we are there already. Cameroon has got 4,500 to 5,000 men running our streets, calling themselves army. They know that the day of reckoning comes soon. And if they joke, we will take part of their own country and occupy it until they pay reparations. Until they pay reparations for the ills they have imposed in our land. If they don't pack and leave and apologize for the crimes they have committed, we will grow so powerful that we will take part of their land and occupy until we are able to be compensated. <laughs> Fellow Biafrans, thank you for having me. Thank you for standing with your son. I am very sure I am very sure he means good for the Biafran people. We have been Ambazonia's leadership has been attacked. 
by other Biafrans who think working together does not serve their interests politically. The only objective of us working together is to find a common solution in the shortest time possible for our both peoples. At the right time, we'll erect political organizations that will compete for elections and take over the process of governance. Yes. At this particular moment, it's a period of resistance and liberation. Yes. And the aim of Ambazonia is to make sure that we have a partner in Biafra that speaks the language, talks the talks, and walks the walk. And, 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 and I appeal to all Bia friends to come together, to work together, and to fight together. The, the time will come for people with political ambitions to find a space within the system that we will create. I, I am very hopeful for our both peoples who have gone through a lot in Amazonia, in Amazonia, to denigrate us, we were called Biafrans. That shows you to what extent they thought of you. That to denigrate Ambazonians, Cameroonians call us Le Biafran. That, that is exactly how they look at us. We have risen. And we have risen to fall no more. And I am, I, 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 I am I'm very grateful for your passion. I'm grateful for your enthusiasm. But take note, this is just the beginning. As I said, it's not a walk in the park. There will be a day you get up, maybe he's dead. There will be a day you get up, I'm not around. You should be ready to take the button and keep fighting until the day that Biafra is free. Thank you, Bia France. All hail Biafra and all hail Ambazonia. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Cho the action leader of the Ambazonia people. And like you all know, today is a historic day again for Biafra and Ambazonia. We are going to sign a treaty like all right. a treaty like agreement today considering the right of the Ambazonians and Biafrans to pursue an education that takes into consideration local realities and further considering the right of the young and the future generation and the rights of girls and women. We, the people of Biafra and Ambazonia, hereby solemnly pledge and reaffirm our determination as two people, our right to self-determination and the right to self-preservation of the dignity of our two peoples. We hereby commit to work together now and in the future for the realization of the dreams of our people and for that pledge that this commitment will always be passed on to our next generation. We today solemnly agreeing that the defense of Biafra and Ambazonia will be the first priority of both countries. We are going to build a military joint operation to make sure that both Nigeria and Cameroon suffer for the genocide they have committed against our people. This relationship and this alliance 
has been in existence secretly. And today, it will be officially open for every record keeping history to take note that today we go into a very powerful alliance with Ambazonia to continue what Mazen Ambikanu and Dr. Chiu Ayaba has done in the past. <laughs> to this end, we all know what Nigeria did to Biafra because of the blockade. I tell you, with this alliance today, the blockade is a bygone history. The Biafra Naval, the Black Marine, and the Dragon Marine fighters are currently engaging the terrorist government in the, in the Gulf of Guinea. We are taking charge of our coastal, of our coast and our waterways. In the last weeks, we have given them a very powerful hit. I mean, the Cameroon occupiers. The terrorist, the terrorist Cameroon occupiers in Biafra, Bakasi area, we've given them the highest water water. They said, they said we use suicide bomb. We don't use suicide bomb. We don't do suicide bombing. We develop what we call. We developed Obunigwe. Obunigwe. That is called Biafra Wonder. We, target, we targeted the Cameroon terrorist forces disturbing our people in Bakasi, and many of them were sent to God for judgment. To hell. Because after today, it can never remain the same. For that reason, we call on Cameroon and Nigeria to withdraw all their military and civilian colonial administrators from our both Ambazonia. Both from Ambazonia and from Biafra territory, respectively, with immediate effect. What I am saying now is not a joke. I am telling you the fact the redeclaration of Biafra is fast approaching. We've started the delegitimization of the Nigeria terrorist representative in Biafra territory, but today we are officially calling on them to withdraw them immediately. We also call on Cameroon and Nigeria to unconditionally release all of our citizens incarcerated in their prisons. Mazenam Dikano and every other person from Biafra, likewise the Abazonians. After today, there will be no room for negotiation other than the day for independence or the declaration of the Biafra Republic. Thank you.
please. The declaration, the declaration between Ambazonia and Biafra shall be called Biafra Ambazonia Declaration Helsinki. Helsinki, Biafra Ambazonia Declaration 2023. Please let me make the pronouncement properly. The declaration today between Ambazonia and Biafra shall be called Biafra Ambazonia Helsinki Declaration 2023.
Please, can we just get seated? Please, can we get seated? Get seated, please. This is not the time. All right. It's time for entertainment. Please get seated. I call on the Umunna Masquerade Finland branch. Okay, the masquerade is about to enter. Please, let's get ready.
please settle down, settle down, settle down so that we can watch the performance. Please settle down. Please settle down, settle down.
time, time. Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please settle down, please settle down. Uh, please, let's have a seat. Uh, can we all settle down, please? Can we settle down? Can we settle down, please? Thank you, thank you. Please settle down, please settle down. Please settle down. Everyone, please settle down. Uh, please settle down, please settle down. This is not time for pictures, please. Uh, please settle down. This is not the time for pictures, please. Please settle down, please settle down. Yes, thank you very much. Please sit. Please sit. 
seat, please sit. An announcement. Important announcement, important announcement. Important announcement, please listen. Go get your charter, the Biafra charter.